We're seventh generation preachers, and I'm eighth. And uh, they, they started me out uh, uh, every morning. Uh, they'd get me up at 5.30 every day of my life when I was there with them. Uh, and we prayed together every day. Uh, but without fail, it didn't matter what was going on. I, I did, of course, I didn't get the whole deal. Um, I thought it was a waste of my sleep time. But it was teaching me, they were teaching me how to be disciplined uh, and how to <clears throat> seek after God. It was instilling in, in my character some necessary product for adulthood. Yes. Most of your kids and grandkids don't have that. They're going to fail because of it. So what we're going to do is not, not criticize you, but we are going to take responsibility for failure. Because you, you, you want to give them what you didn't get because your parents were so obnoxious and rude and didn't understand you, so you're going to build them like you wanted to be built. So my problem with that is, how's that going for you? <laughs> <laughs> figured it out yet how wrong you are God is right okay yeah. seeking God is right yeah. what's this forcing everybody in your home to see God with you is right and if they don't want to they can leave yeah. you don't love them no you're wrong you don't I do because the only thing I can give them as an inheritance is God. That's right. That has any value. All right. This is